How a Twitter fight over Bernie Sanders revealed a network of fake accounts. All right, let's dive into this. Let me go ahead and uh, give this a uh, a retweet. Somebody posted this over on the uh, over on the Reddit, and uh, we'll go ahead and 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 talk about it now because this is the second time this is uh, being sent to me. How a Twitter fight over Bernie Sanders revealed a network of fake accounts. One Democratic Party consultant said an unnamed client controlled many of these accounts. Okay. When Russians at the Internet Research Agency interfered in U.S. politics. <laughs> so dumb. The goalposts keeps getting moved. First it was the uh, 2016 election and they colluded. Then it was they interfered. Then it was, oh, they're interfering in our politics because a lot of those memes came after the election. The goalposts keep moving. They interfered in U.S. politics. What does that even mean? That, that, <laughs> I interfere in U.S. politics every day. So do we. All of us do. All of us interfere. What the? It's so stupid. Already this article sucks, but let's see if there's some interesting information in here. All right. Uh, let's see. They created false online personas, fake political groups, blah, blah, blah. It's not too far from what some U.S. political consultants are doing themselves. Take Sally Albright, a Democratic Party communications consultant who backed Hillary Clinton. Uh, unsurprisingly, Albright is vocally opposed to Donald Trump, a big supporter of the resistance to his administration. She is also one of the loudest, most divisive voices attacking Bernie Sanders. Clinton's one-time Democratic primary and his left-wing supporters. Albright continues to claim that Sanders is a fraud, a liar, racist, and corrupt, among many other things. In one instance, she declared that the policy idea of free college, uh, as promoted by Sanders, was racist. What the hell? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, so according to this person, free college is racist. Um... Wow, I'm not sure the uh, I'm not sure the mental gymnastics uh, to to come to that conclusion, but um, wow. <laughs> Trevor, a Sanders supporter who declined to provide his last name, uh, goes by liking online. Noticed a strange pattern of behavior when Aldright responded to him. Her tweets addressing him were rapidly retweeted by the same series of accounts. Um, after an extensive amount of research, these were not normal accounts. They appeared to be bots. Albright told HuffPost that the accounts were voluntarily handed over by their original new users to an unnamed client of hers to be automated in an analytics program. All these accounts were pro-Trump, anti-Trump, or excuse me, excuse me. All these accounts were pro-Clinton, anti-Trump, and anti-Sanders. Twitter allows users to automate their accounts, including setting up automatic retweeting and liking of other accounts. This increases activity on the platform. The ability to swap a debate is a problem for political discourse around the world. Automating Twitter accounts to retweet and otherwise promote specific messages thus becomes a tactic to silence political debate and squelch free speech. Share Blue was also retweeted by a network of fake accounts, especially when they had something negative to say um, about, about Bernie Sanders. These accounts also liked hashtag resistance celebrities like Eric Garland, Harvard professor Lawrence Tribe. Uh, when Albright led a Twitter campaign to attack a 2017 women's conference for inviting Sanders to speak, um, after Clinton, Warren, and Gildebrand turned them down, the automated account network deployed her retweet. Yeah, so, I mean, what's, yeah. Hillary Clinton unapologetically has her own Twitter farm. Correct the record is a Twitter farm. That's what they are, a, or excuse me, a troll farm. A, a Twitter troll farm, triple T. So it's going on, and they're okay with these types of Twitter troll farms. They're okay with, if it's from Russia, they have a problem. That's when they have a problem. If it's domestic, they don't care. Twitter doesn't care. We're cracking down on false information on Twitter. By the way, unless you're domestic and for the Democratic establishment, 
then we're fine with you. If you're from Russia and have a bunch of memes that are barely in English, oh, that we have a problem with that. Or if you're anti-war, we got a problem with that. But uh, you know, if you're kind of for one partisanship or another, well, we're fine with that. We don't care. So yeah, that that's. This is not, yeah, I mean, it's cool that they're finally talking about this, but yes. And I have a feeling that everybody on this stream uh, has been attacked by a Clinton troll before. I have. I totally have. I mean, I've had a Twitter thread where all of a sudden you'll see this person hijack an account um, and you'll you'll hear like like somebody goes, you're a Bernie bro and blah, 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 and you're an idiot and blah, 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 and you're blah, blah, blah. And then you go to their account and they have zero followers and they don't have a, an actual face on their avatar. Like it's one of those eggs, you know what I mean? They're bots. They're freaking bots. Or they're hired trolls. That's what they are. I've been attacked on every social media platform. Then I'll click the thing. And it, sometimes it is an actual person, yeah. But most of the time it's like, or even if it is somebody that seems like an actual person, you'll notice all they do is troll people to the left of Hillary Clinton, which is, by the way, any progressive. So is that person getting a paycheck from Correct the Record? Yeah, probably. They're an actual person in this case, but they are a literal hired Twitter troll. That's what that campaign did, unapologetically. And a lot of these accounts are fake. So there you go. But Russia. Hey guys, thanks for watching. That was a clip from Get Your News On with Ron, the world's first viewer curated streaming news show. What does that mean? That means I log on to a stream and people tweet me articles over on Twitter at Ron Placone or they use our Reddit subsection, which is just get your news on with Ron over on Reddit. And that's how we build the show. I'm seeing all these articles for the first time. We are literally getting our news on together. Follow me on Twitter at Ron Flacone so you can participate. And this show streams live every Tuesday through Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So please do tune in. If you want to support this show, you can do so over on patreon.com slash Ron Placone, where for as low as a dollar a month, you get access to exclusive podcasts every week, exclusive videos, free tickets to shows when I'm performing in your town, and more for as low as a dollar a month. Please do consider it. Thank you so much for your support. This has been Get Your News On with Ron.